Who's there? Huh? Traveler. Hmm. Sneak it up on me. I'll remember that. I'm making food. Care to join? It's almost ready. Then sit. <laughs> I've always made my food out here. By now it's become a habit. Uh, the townsfolk are busy. It's best I don't interrupt them in my requests. The shops are closed by now, so no matter. Besides, I prefer my own cooking. Everything is up to par. <clears throat> Why are you out here in the middle of the night? Ah, you ventured from Lee. How was it? Hmm. I hear many great things about the place. I haven't gone there often, but... <clears throat> Curious. Did you happen to run into someone? Say, an older gentleman near Ching Su. One who happens to have a wing glider? No? Mm. I see. It's nothing. Here, eat. Hmm. Things have been well here in Mondstadt. Amber will be excited to hear about your adventures. Lisa has some potions for you and... Oh, right. Acting Grandmaster Jean will like to see you soon upon your arrival. I'm not sure, but... Perhaps she wishes to see how you've been. To my knowledge, you haven't spoken with her much since your battle with Storm Terror. Devalin? Hm. <laughs> Correcting me. I'll remember that. Me? Uh, I'm fine. What about the townsfolk? Ah. In regards to my clan's history. <clears throat> How they treat me are no matter. Eventually I'll get my revenge. Why do you think I joined the Knights of Favonius? You must infiltrate your enemy and break them from within. They don't even understand how much I watch the every move. I could strike at any moment. Why else would I train so much and succeed in running the enemies who threaten Mondstadt? No one shall harm a citizen of Mond. I must be sure everyone is safe and healthy, so when my revenge takes place, they'll be caught by surprise. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Thank you. Dealuk? What about him? If he tries to stop me? He's even more aloof than acting Grandmaster Jean. A year ago I was out in the wild making my food per usual, when suddenly enemies had attacked. I had hunted for days and hadn't eaten, so of course I was weak and uh, unprepared. Just when tiredness began to take over, I see a giant bird of flames pass over me and wipe out the enemy. It was then I quickly demanded an answer. I wanted to know why he went out of his way to help, uh, I mean, interrupt my battle. <sighs> I mean, no one else would do such a thing. So why even bother? <laughs> he simply adjusted his coat and left. The only words he stated was, enjoy your meal. I don't get along with some of the knights, and he doesn't think much of them in general. So you think that will make us allies? <sighs> I want nothing to do with them, especially after that incident. I swore that vengeance shall be mine. Huh? Well, well yes. The meal was quite delicious after that. <clears throat> but 
Later on, I went to the Don Winery and left him a note, acknowledging his performance. And if he ever encounters an enemy, to be grateful when I return the favor and take them out. Uh, it's only fair I do so. I don't want to owe anything to anyone. How's the meal? Good. I made sure to keep everything to precision. The flavor? Huh. That's thanks to the girl I ran into a few days ago. I was out patrolling and noticed someone collecting windwheel asters. She stated she was from Lie and wanted to try out new flavors for her dishes. Seems she's a famous chef. After having conversation, I gave in to curiosity and decided to escort her around Mondstadt, eager to see what she'd come up with. Especially when I recall hearing about a friendly competition you assisted in. This was back when she competed against Brooke in Springvale. So, learning that she won, I was quite surprised. And now I see why. Tasting her food that night was exquisite, and she gave me some advice on other ways I can add various flavors to my meals. Hmm. The audacity of changing menus from long-standing traditions. I won't forget that. And you preferring this taste over previous traditions. I won't forget that either. Your plate is now empty, is it not? <laughs> Good. The night carries on. We shall rest soon. Hmm? I don't mind sleeping out here. I'm used to it, as I'm sure you are. Huh? Something you was to show me. What is it? Close my eyes. What are you, foolish? If you're leading me into a trap, I won't forgive you. Hmm. True. Amber trusts you, so... I suppose I can. Rather curious of what you wish to show me. Uh, but just for a moment. Any longer and I'll take my revenge. Hmm. Fine. Your house? But what is... Huh. Teapot? I've never seen such a thing. Huh? Where are you leading me? Room. All right, what do you want about? What is this? Huh? You wish to give this room to me? N no. I refuse. I don't need pity from anyone. I'm just fine on my own. So take me back and... Huh? Consider it a birthday gift. <laughs> I I see you remembered I don't recall ever telling you my birthday Amber notified you <laughs> You and Amber I swear She insisted I celebrated, and I told her no. 
multiple times. <sighs> and yet, even against my wishes, you two still plan such a thing. <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. <clears throat> so, you caused me to spill tears. You must now make up for it. Though tears of joy, I've never shown them in front of anyone. <laughs> so, how shall you pay for that? You can give me all your mora. Or simply beg for forgiveness. But that won't be enough now, will it? <laughs> Come now. No need to back away. If you think I'm going to let this opportunity escape me, think again. I've said it many times. Vengeance shall be mine. You wish to take over? <laughs> Fine. Just this once. I'll let you take the lead. But first, take me to the bed. <laughs> What do you think? Did you enjoy? If you want more, then follow me. <laughs> oh, before you leave, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss out on any notifications in the future. My socials are listed below for updates, and if you want the full experience, then please visit my Patreon. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.